Hi, everybody. Sam Kavaris in the samsportsline.com sports update. The Jaguars win against the Falcons, which is not a big deal in the exhibition season. You know, preseason was a, a made-up word in the league. But the, the danger, the scary part of it, and Matt Robinson talks about this in the Hammer podcast, is the injury factor. You know, there used to be six preseason games. Now there's four, and there's a lot of talk about two. The Jaguars look like they're going to lose Marquise Lee for the year. They've got a peck issue with Marcel Darius that – he continues to struggle with at least he's got a couple weeks off and Deshaun Gibson left with a stinger so you know these are the things that you worry about if you're a big fan of the team simply because last year the team lost two games both of them by Telvin Smith to a concussion on defense and that's the kind of team that gets deep into the playoffs the one that has their best players stay healthy for the entire year that's who the Jaguars were last year and while they've built depth and more speed you cannot afford to lose solid players in the preseason or even early in the year. Once guys get used to getting a hit and playing at that speed, the injury bug usually kind of is, is very rare. Nonetheless, it is uh, something the Jaguars will have to deal with hit, uh, here early on. They take on Tampa Bay Thursday night, and that's a bunch of fights for a roster spot. Remember, about, about – uh, 40% of the roster will change every year. So you're going to have like 20 new guys on the team coming up, and that was a deep playoff team. Jaguars still the favorite to win the AFC South, and I think they will do that. And it won't surprise me at all if they're 4-0 and after the first quarter of the season. So these are the kinds of things that they're working toward. Their offense looked good. Fournette looks better than ever. T.J. Yeldon has definitely progressed, and certainly Blake Bortles looks smoother and more in command of what's going on on the offense. Don't put any stock in what happens in the preseason except some individual performances and how guys move because it's not about getting into a rhythm, which I think the regular season is. It's not about figuring out who can play the entire time, which I think the regular season is. That's coming up in just a couple of weeks, obviously, against the Giants. We'll talk a lot more about that as we get closer. Jaguars Bucks next Thursday night in the final exhibition game of 2018. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that's the samsportsline.com sports update.